Hello, welcome to my meta conversations about what I write about on my blog at jeffreywellsfiction.com and in my books. It's, this is devastating for conservation. It's devastating for elephants. It's devastating for the government of Tanzania and the country of Tanzania that have so much invested in elephant conservation. The Tanzania ports of Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar have become exit points for vast amounts of ivory. I mean, obviously, the question is, why? The reason for this is greed and profit. Mm -hmm. The price of ivory in, in Asia, particularly in China, has gone through the roof, driven by a demand for ivory as a symbol of status and wealth. Organized criminal crime groups are now profiting from extinction by making money out of funding poaching and trafficking huge volumes of ivory from Tanzania to China. And so the assumption I make in my book, which I don't think is a huge leap of faith, is that the currency that they're using is Bitcoin and the supply chain that is um, at work from the poacher to the strongman to the warlords to the cyber criminals is one coordinated effort to reap as much profit as they can from the teeth of elephants. And it's this that uh, Ellison discovers and of course gets heavily involved. But you can see over time that this trend starts to become more about poaching than the African elephant. Notice that elephant conservation is still this flat line, this orange flat line that you can hardly see at the bottom of the, of the graph. So the thing about these press releases and the ads on television and the uh, news reports, the breaking news reports about smuggling, etc., is that they are normally quoting statistics. 30,000 elephants killed in one year, etc. And to me, that doesn't really um, help that much in the sense that it's not personalized. These, you know, it's easy to divorce yourself from uh, a statistic like that and focus on what you think might be important. Take, for example, this CNBC um, uh, ad playing for the World Wildlife Fund. We feel a deep connection with these sensitive giants of the wild. Yet there is something you should know. As many as 30,000 elephants... In this particular clip, you have the stock ticker running underneath the ad. So any emotional appeal, if there is any at all, is completely sort of sabotaged by the fact that on this particular day, the stock exchange was going, the Dow was going down by 500 points. Uh, and that just really puts it into context, is that this information about elephants is just noise in the background in comparison to what people are really paying attention to, which is their own pocket. It's obviously something that people are going to be concerned about unless they read about a personal story and they have some emotional investment. Um, and that's really, you know, what motivated me is I wanted to tell a story about an ordinary young woman who um, cares really only about herself and her music and writing music. And she's not wrong. She's not morally um, devoid of any feelings. Uh, yet she's never really thought about Africa and the elephants until she has to get involved. And when she does, it changes her life completely. Um, and, you know, hopefully she makes the right choices.